Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and manage users in Fluidlyze MyLab. To add a user, I'll start by opening the administration task. If you don't have an administration task, you don't have permission to manage users. For each MyLab site, there is one master user who always has this permission, and they can assign it to additional users. Now I'll pick Manage Users. I get a list of the users for this MyLab site on the left here. On a new site, there's typically only one. I've already made a few extras. To add another user, I'll click on the Add User button here. On the right, I get a new user record ready to be filled in. I need to enter the username I'd like here. And also the person's real name here. I should also enter an email so they can get any email notices or sample forwards. I also need to set a password and confirm it. The rest is optional, but we should look over it. It's good practice to set a password hint that will remind the person of their password if they forget. I can enter address and contact information here. I'll switch to the Preferences tab. Here I can adjust any navigation and language preference. I can also control which email notices are sent and in which format. Under Data Filters here, I can add restrictions to what data this user can see. When there are no filter rules, they can see everything I can. If they are in charge of a subset of my data, I can add a rule by clicking here. If I followed the advice in the Organizing Equipment video, I can restrict the user to a single customer, a unit area or a unit type, or any combination. This is one of the big benefits of organizing my data along the lines of responsibility. If they need two different unit areas, I'd add two rules, one for each, like this. If my equipment isn't organized by unit areas and types, I can click here on the Advanced Info button to see more fields I can filter on. I can now filter on the manufacturer if I'd like to make an account for one of my equipment vendors or an oil manufacturer for my oil supplier. I've got lots of ways to control who can see which data. As I'd like this user to see everything, I'll clear the rules by clicking the trash can for each. Let's have a look at the Permissions tab. Here is where I can control what the user can do with the data they can see. By default, a new user is set to View Only. This means they can see everything, but cannot change anything. If I switch them to Full Access here, they can now do everything I can with the data they can see, but they can't add or change users. If I'd like to delegate that to them, I can check off Manage Users here, and they can do everything I can. I can also select Custom Permissions. Now I can control what actions they can perform on a record type basis. The Role option allows me to define the permissions and home tasks in one place and reuse those for multiple users. When I select a role from the drop list here, I can see the permissions defined in that role. By clicking on a role name here, I can switch to the role view to make changes. Watch the roles video for more information on roles. I'll set this user to full access. And now I'll switch to the home tasks tab. Here I can hide some tasks to simplify the user's home page. Note that any tasks I hide here, the user can put back through their profile page. If I want to prevent that, I need to set up a role and remove the task from the role instead. Now that I'm done, I'll click Save and the user is added. To manage users, I can click on any user on the left, like this. Now I can adjust any options, permissions, or home tasks. If I select myself, or the master user, I can't change the data filters or permissions or delete the user. 
That concludes the user overview. Thank you for watching.